What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Taco Tuesday. And man, we, man, I'm excited. I'm really excited right now because we are talking about... Because we sitting here, I supposed to be the franchise player, and we're in here talking about practice. Yeah, not talking I about mean, practice. listen, we're talking about practice. And I can't wait. I can't wait to to get to Oxnard next week because I'm going back to Cali, to Cali, to Cali. I'm going back to Cali. That's right. I'm going back to California to see the Cowboys in training camp next week. In fact, on Sunday. So it's just about downhill. So we have some news, interesting news on the Dak Prescott C.D. Lamb saga. Okay. Per John Machada, Machoda. Uh, Cowboys executive Stephen Jones on SA Sports Star uh, on the contract talks with Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb. Right now, the ball is in Dak's court, and we're waiting to hear from them. They understand that the ball is in their court. So, you know, it sounds like desperation. It sounds like desperation. Now, now here's the thing. I'm trying to remember exactly how it went. But I know a contract supply place that I dealt with used to have a sign on the wall that said, your emergency doesn't necessitate urgency on my part. In other, or no, 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 no. Or, or your poor planning. Your poor planning does not, it's, it's something like that, okay? Basically, if you F around and screw up, and you know you're doing a job and you realize there's a two week lead time for some of the materials that you should have ordered a month ago that's your problem don't get mad at the supply house that knows you know that everybody knows it's going to take two weeks now that it's now you got me trying to rush around and get something for you that you screwed up on so now you hear when you hear the tone of this, you know, right now the ball's in Dak's court. We're waiting to hear from them. They understand that the ball's in their court. Okay. You know, you had all summer. In fact, you had all summer and all last season. In fact, you had all summer last season and last summer to do these things. We started talking about not practice. Because we sitting in here, I not, supposed not to be practice. a franchise player, and we're in here talking about practice. Not practice. About the contracts. We had talked about doing C.D. Lamb last year. Imagine if they had gotten it done last year for, say, I don't know, $24, 25000000 million. What, what kind of shape we'd be in right now. Right now. But, you know, here it is. We're, we're talking about the Joneses. Kind of like when we signed Dak to the $40 million. And, and we franchise tagged him at 30 something when we could have actually gotten him long term for, you know, like 29 at, at, at some point. But no, they want to take the time. They want to do it their way. And so that's where it cost them. Um, the question is here is uh, I'm curious and, and I don't know exactly how the numbers would work out. But when you say 60 million a year or 55 million a year. When we think about some of the contracts, you know, you hear the big numbers. Oh, it's a $300 million deal. Forget about the total number on it. How much of it's guaranteed? Because generally speaking, it's the guaranteed money is all you're ever going to see. So would it behoove Dak Prescott to say, you know what? I'll take $50 million a year. Would you say $50 million a year? And just say it's all guaranteed. Hmm. Because then here's what you got. You've got now the biggest contract because it's two hundred million dollars guaranteed, but it's less than sixty million a year. I mean, you could go through and say, you know, we'll do sixty million a year, and say one hundred seventy-five is fully guaranteed. Okay, if you're Dak Prescott, the fifty million fully guaranteed is better to know for sure that I'm gonna get two hundred million. There's no guarantee, although with Dak Prescott, he did fulfill his contract this time and earned all $160 million of the deal. See, this is the money that wasn't actually guaranteed on his deal right now that he's actually playing for, but he's played so well that you have to get him. So 
I'm curious if the Cowboys' sense of urgency, because it feels like, because no, I mean, okay. Let me let me try and give you at least my take here. Okay, here's my take right here, right now, right now. We're seeing some of the young guys playing better than what you thought they may. Right now, we're seeing Tyler Guyton today in practice um, doing really well against Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons may be one of the toughest people he faces all season long. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's going to have Miles Garrett out there too week one. But but practice against Micah Parsons is pretty good. And I know it's still early. This is just the first padded practice, so don't get too excited or anything like that. But I'm excited as hell because he looked pretty good. And maybe some of the storylines that we got of the offseason are a little more overblown than what they were made out to be. You know, Tyler Guyton being, oh, man, he might not be ready to start. You know, Chuma Goto may be our starter and things. You know, losing Sam Williams and stuff. Marshawn Needland has been looking pretty good. And as far as us looking at signing other receivers, you know, Jalen Tolbert, Jalen Brooks have been looking really good and are stepping up. And so you may have the Cowboys in a position right now where, A, after losing Sam Williams, they are a little concerned about the edge rushers being a little thin. Um, the good news, of course, getting Diggs back today, maybe that negates the need to get Stephon Gilmore. But there may be other places that you look at and say, we might be a lot closer than we think. The, the talking heads out here are saying that the Cowboys are worse than last year, but they say that every year. Every year we hear, oh, well, the Cowboys, they're not spending money in free agency. The Cowboys, they're getting worse. Well, how much worse, if you're looking at this year, what we lost with Dante Fowler and Dorrance Armstrong and, and Hankins, you know, um, Tyron Smith and Biotish, how much do we lose in comparison to us losing Connor Williams, Lyle Collins, Cedric Wilson, Amari Cooper, Randy Gregory? Because I believe they said the same thing at that time. And if the Cowboys with seemingly having a sense of urgency. Now, I understand the sense of urgency with CeeDee Lamb because you want to get him into camp. But Dak Prescott seems to be, I'm okay betting on myself. Unless they're actually, that's one of two things. They're worried about Dak Prescott starting the season you know, betting on himself that he's just that, that he may walk away or play so well that it's gonna cost them sixty plus million. And so they seem to have a sense of urgency. Or they have the sense of urgency because they recognize let's not make the mistakes that we had before where we lose a guy in training camp and we end up having a decimated area and let's start looking and getting people now. And maybe let's upgrade in a couple places. You got draft picks, and you'll have capital to be able to work with. Better late than never. So let's hope that uh, you know. Let's let's see. The, the, I would say that CD is probably in no rush to get to training camp, and I'm sure that Dak Prescott's agent is kind of like let them sweat uh, sweat it out a little bit. Don't just jump back at them. Take your time. Relax. Have another drink. We'll deal with it another day. Alrighty, good people. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I will see y'all soon. Peace.